Well, welcome back to our Thursday night 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons game. After a very, very strenuous, exhausting night, finally the next morning arrives, and our PCs have grown in strength and power as they've leveled their characters up to now 2nd level. But the days, uh, the evening's events are finally behind them as they've had a chance to spend seven, eight hours of sleep and rest and recuperating. You wake up in the morning and uh, the bright sunlight shines upon the destruction out in the city of Greenish. Uh, you do notice that merchant that you had left behind from many, many moons ago. Yeah. Uh, he is one, also but... in the keep. Um, oh, he's already there? I was about to head no. out for him. No. He's uh, made, his, made his way into the keep. He tells you basically that he'd come in in the morning here and... Uh, after uh, the coast kind of uh, looked clear, um, after watching what has happened, he's quite surprised to see you guys actually alive and everything. And he is willing to pay you for your services of uh, transporting them safely to the town. Of course, all the supplies that he brought is very uh, well received by the locals here in Greenish. And, uh, you know, it's not a lot of major supplies or anything. But uh, he does have some supplies that uh, he's willing to part with uh, to help out the villagers and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of the items obviously are more for, you know, for sale gems and, you know, a few of the trinkets that he had brought, some rugs and stuff that obviously aren't going to be of much use right now until the village can get back on their feet. Well, one of these two, one or two of these people could probably use a new rug, but aside from that, he's probably out of luck. Yeah, they probably, the last thing they were going to want to do is spend a lot of time, uh, you know, buying new items when uh, they're not even sure what's left. You notice mm -hmm. that the keep door has been opened up. Uh, people are coming in and out, and the governor's kind of there. He's, you know, patting people on the back as they're leaving and, and telling them, you know, come back tonight. You know, make sure you're back here before sundown just in case. Uh, we have another attack, um, you know, secure, bring anything of value with you, secure your house. Um, we'll just do that for a couple of days just to make sure we don't run into this situation again. And, you know, kind of hugging people as they go out, reassuring them and stuff. Uh, and the dwarf comes over to you guys and says, uh, again, uh, thank you all for, for your services last night. You, you did some wonderful things, some great things. I've, I've, uh, got something here for you and he kind of hands out this in his hand he has like a little um red ribbon and uh kind of hands it over to you guys and he said that uh one of the children that you had rescued last night from these vile creatures had made this and wanted to give it to you guys as as a thank you for your service and and for keeping his family safe and everything oh i graciously I accept it <laughs> As do I. I kind of look touched. And I, what it's is just it? like a red ribbon? Yeah, it's just like a little uh, ribbon that he had tied together and tried to, you know, put a little design on it and just... I, I tie it I, around my wrist. Yeah, I kind of tie mine to, like, the top of my staff. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's super dwarf, man, but how about the actual reward? Um, oh, yeah. Yes, sir, yes. Um, we wouldn't want I to... I sigh audibly. We got a reward from the merchant, right? Ten gold. Yep, oh, yep. Right. He gives your uh, ten gold pieces. Obviously, Gavin is ecstatic. All he wants right now is to get some breakfast and alcohol and look at his ten gold. Where is that is ten it? gold? That's, that's the inventory tab on the sheet. Yes. yes. Okay, Everyone so gets ten gold. Yeah. So fifty. When the uh, the dwarf says, uh, you know, not to be outdone, uh, he's got a little sack. He hands. Each of you a nice little sack, and you can put it in your hand and kind of jiggle it. Mm, nice, and look inside, and there's like 50 gold pieces in it. I said that's from the city for all your time and effort for right. what you had done for us. So split evenly. That's a, no, no, each one, yeah. each one, each one. We each, each have oh, your wow. own 50 gold pieces. Yep. As right. um, you know, as he's here in front of us, I kind of just ask him, I'm like, uh, how's business here? <laughs> Uh, there is no business here right now. Yeah. 
Right, because everything's... I was like, um, I kind of just look him over and I'm like, you think uh, there's any pieces of land for sale around here? Thinking of taking up residence in Greenish. Um... Yeah, I'm sure we could come up with some kind of agreement. Uh, maybe uh, I could even get you a job on the city guard there uh, if you're interested. No, 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 no. Not a, not a guard. I'm thinking more of uh, starting a, a little shop. Not, not necessarily run by me, but just, just a little here and there, starting a business. Well, once this, once the village gets back on her feet, if you've got time. Uh, We'd be more than happy to have you. Welcome back. Yes. Um, as, as you notice, the sun is now scorching your blackened skin. I squint. <laughs> Squintily. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are we sure. like are we standing near the gate then? You're just in the the main courtyard, kind of just moseying around. You're kind of by the main gate, yeah. All right. We saw that like people are starting to like stream out the gate. Yep. Yep. All right, as we, like the old couple we rescued, are they passing by? Uh, you don't see them. They've kind of disappeared off into the, in the morning. They already left, damn. They've already gone. I, I kind of like... But, you, you know, as you're kind of looking my... around and asking about them, the governor's like, there's something, you know, you're looking for. I can make sure I get a message to them. Well, I, I kind of like pause for a second. I kind of look down at my, like, little sack of gold, and I kind of look around, and I just... I give it back to the governor, and I just say, would you just please divvy that up among anyone who has a house they need to rebuild? He uh, he holds his hand up, and he refuses to take it back. He says, no, I I, I understand your generosity, but it's the least we can do for you. Um, in fact, you know, I even I'm even embarrassed to ask of this, but I think we know where the Raiders might have went. Perfect. Where? I'd like to find out some more information. Whoever's typing, stop typing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. Um, he said, uh, this morning, uh, we kind of went out uh, scouting around some of the the uh, the guards, just checking to make sure the, the area was clear, clear before we uh, let anybody leave the keep. And um, they see some trails that started headed out of town from the south. And uh, they're quite easy to follow, actually, as many, many marauders obviously had left uh, towards the south location. Few to the north, but very few. Very, you know, just seemed like one, maybe one group had left from the north, one from the west. But looks like the main force kind of went to the south and then uh, kind of the southeast. In fact, if we pull up our little map here, I will bring you over to the main map here kind of mm -hmm. refresh everyone's memory at home if you haven't watched our episodes here our brave party is now here in greenish um what he kind of tells you is they kind of started oh that's not the right tool sorry hang on should freehand we, um, i'm going the castle should we be seeing something <laughs> oh you here we go yeah i was gonna say it might take you a second to reload that kind of uh headed off into the the hilly grasslands, kind of to the southeast of Greenish, there, is kind um, of the uh, the outline. And again, the governor's kind of look at that. We've got the same five characters that we started with all the way back in the beginning. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Although all I see is a white screen with a little tiny red line on it. <laughs> Likewise, I see the whole thing. So. Huh. It's just that uh, overland map of the Sword yeah. Coast, and kind of just showing where everything was. I'm not sure why it's taking a long time for you to download it, but yeah. it should come. Sometimes Roll20 is dumb. <laughs> what I'll do is I will switch it back to just a blank page. And then I'll switch it over again and see if that clears up the issue for you guys. All right. Yes, there it is. There it is. All right. Sorry about that. It's cool. So, uh, Governor Gans, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm an even embarrassed to ask you this. I, I know you've done so much, but... Um, you know, if we can find out where they're headed, what they're doing, maybe we can save some other villages out here, or maybe we can learn some more information. Uh, I, you know, if you if you could do that for the city again, um, we'd be willing to pay you even another fifty gold pieces. 
Hmm. My lord, I need no reward for this. We have to deal with attacks like this where I'm from all the time. Dispatching these marauders will be an up payment for me. I chime in and say I'll take his share. We can he split is? his share. <laughs> <laughs> I give him, <laughs> I give Hollis a high five. He's he is a uh, he's going to be one broke dude. Uh. <laughs> Talking he, about the reward before we even finish the job. Eh? Yeah, I tell you he who. Uh, she, up. sorry. Yes, there you go. She. <laughs> I apologize. Yes. Um, so if you if you could uh, head out that direction and see what you can learn, and maybe even track them down, find out where they're headed, what they're doing, kind of gather whatever information you can. Again, he puts his hand on your on uh, um, Jacob's shoulder, and he's like, "I want you guys to come back alive." I don't want you to risk life in them. If it's too dangerous, just come back. Uh, just find out what you can and then um, just come back. And, and just come back in one piece because he kind of glances over his shoulder at all the dead bodies behind him. Obviously, we've had too much mm. too much loss and suffering. And we don't want to lose our great warriors and heroes. I look at him with a little bit of a smirk and I say, don't worry. I have no intentions of dying just yet. I know we came pretty close just last night, so... And I, I kind of speak up and say, my lord, I hesitate to ask. I know this is a difficult time right now, but I was wondering perhaps if maybe you could spare some horses for us. Um, you know, let me see if I can do that for you. Uh, we don't really have any need for horses. Maybe I can talk to some of the... Uh, the local farmers and stuff and see if they've got any um, oh. mules or something maybe I'm not sure uh, we'll be able to come up with horses oh. for you though Gavin, if they're needed cringes. here that's fine I'm if they're needed here that's fine I'm used to walking yeah. just figured it'd be faster Gavin kind of cringes he's the like, merchant uh, he's willing to give you the, the mule that he you know uh, the two mules that he had used uh, he offers those to you if you need them oh well I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of get the druid's attention. Hey, hey, Seed, you ever actually tracked anything before? I kind of glare at him for a second, but you might as well I guess I just kind of say, "Well, you want to apparently they're going to carry a banner, let them know we're following them." You don't need a horse. It's an army. They're much slower than we are. I just kind of I just turn back to the lord and say. It's all right, my lord. We'll we'll make do. Okay. So, uh, so uh, after you guys get something to eat, and uh, you know, don't leave empty-handed here. You know, he gives gives you some supplies to take with you, some oh. food um, and such. All right. And at some point, I'm gonna need to find like. I think I have to, like, meditate to get my spells as a druid. I guess I find, like, an hour alone to do that. Yeah, you've had plenty of time this morning. Yeah, you, you, yeah. in yeah, the morning yeah. you had time. Like, I, I prayed and got all my stuff yeah. ready. Yeah, I, like, found, like, a quiet spot. Yeah, in, like, the you're, I mean, you're really haven't... You know, you weren't... They didn't get you up at the crack of dawn or anything. I yeah, mean, it's like a good. morning prayer. You get up, yeah. you have, like, a routine. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. take that oh, long. Right. And also, yep. you don't have to change your spells, so. Yeah. Yep. All right, so, I'm good. so um, you know, um, just come back because we, you know, the people want to celebrate your victory when you come back. So make sure you come back. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how many days it will be, but once you arrive back, we'll see if we can have some time to honor your awesome, um, your awesome uh, abilities to help the city. We appreciate back. the gratitude. Just so um, one other thing, my lord, I, I hesitate to bother you about this. I know as, as you've got your hands full already. I actually came here looking for a man about yay tall. I kind of hold up a hand about like a little under six feet. Dark hair, kind of a lean fellow, scar on his cheek. I don't expect you personally to know where he is, but if perhaps you could maybe get the words out to some of the, the merchants in town... He might have been trying to sell a necklace. Just if you could maybe come up with any information about this man's whereabouts, I would really appreciate that. 
when uh, you have a chance, of course. See what I can do. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Why not draw a sketch up of this guy? You seem to have a pretty good description of him. Because I, I don't have paper in my inventory and stuff. <laughs> I do. How would I help? Describe him to me. I pull out my paper and pen from my scholar's backpack. All right. I guess at some point, like I'm not going to make the governor stand here and while we do this, but I guess later. Yeah, he's kind of gone and... to do his. Yeah. You know, you know, he's kind of excuses himself that he needs to go out and you know yeah. let everybody know what's going on and talk with them as they leave and some of them are scared to leave so he wants to have a chance to uh talk with them and uh kind of reassure them that it is indeed okay safe to to head out yeah. um but yeah at some point we'd like i like we take like 20 minutes and i give the description and he sketches the guy as best i can yep. <laughs> I can. I don't know if that would be any kind of check, but I, I'll roll a d20 if you want me to. <laughs> sure, um, why not? Would that be... That wouldn't be insight. It'd be some kind of profession, actually. That would be some be, sort of... Prof there are profession skills in this. Um, at some point, I will try to get my character proficiency with art supplies, but that takes a lot of downtime. So until then, until then, I'll just be... My character will doodle... Uh, just trying to learn on his own. Performance? No. There's not really a like an art mm -hmm. skill, is there? Maybe performance. Performance can apply to other types of art, which would not yeah. be drawing or musical arts and dancing and stuff. But yeah. No, I'll, I'll roll performance. Sure, give me a performance check if you're trying to perform. Then. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not the six. Hopefully, it's the other one. It was the six. The, hmm. <laughs> Nine. So obviously he's not very skilled at uh, drawing at this point. Uh, it looks more like a little stick figure with uh, some, <laughs> some some hair on it. Uh, and, and it's got like the sun with the smiley face and like the yellow lines. And it's got like the house with like the crooked uh, like chimney and stuff. I hold it up and I go, how is this? I try not to smirk and I just say that will do. Thank you. I think I I'll kind put it of on the fridge I, later. I, I I get an idea of what he's getting at, and I kind of frown at it and go, "Eh, I'll try again later." Yeah. All right. Okay, we're done with that. Does anybody that's, need that's to do exciting. anything else before you head out of town? Uh, alcohol to go. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, they have some wine skins there. Um... And we get rations. Well, yeah. actually, we don't need rations at all, but <laughs> we have two yeah. outlanders. We started with, uh, yeah, that is actually true. Like, I can actually find food for all five of us. And I can find like, food for all five of us as well. <laughs> you guys like to eat nothing but berries every day, right? And I have a hunting trap, so I can get small game at least. So we'll, we, we, we can feed ourselves pretty well. I've got like 10 days of rations anyway, so... Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wine skin just to say I have it. It's uh, gonna I'm assuming it's gonna weigh five pounds, which is the same as a water skin when filled up. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do they have any alchemy supplies here? Alchemist fire or oil? Stuff gets useful in a pinch. Uh no, they don't have any of that. Do they have any shot. um I use uh, my produced flame can trip and I set my whole hand on fire and I just say, I think we're good for fire. And then I put in, it out. In the sack that I got earlier uh, with the silverware in it, um, I kind of just, you know, distribute it through the town. But is there a cup in there, like a, a tin or a silver cup that I can keep? Um, sure. Okay. Hey, I um, forgot. You never I, told me what was in that sack that I found. Uh, refresh my memory. Where did you find uh, I was it? Looting, I was looting kobolds outside of the keep. Found a sack. Um, all right. Let me refresh my memory here. Uh, mostly mundane items, for, uh, but some of them have some value to them, like a, um, like a gold um, candle holder. Uh, some silver plates, um, some 
antique relics that have some gems in them. Just items like that that you could probably sell for, you know, some money. I'll ask my previous employer that I came here with uh, what he'd be willing to give me for this stuff. Just out of curiosity, are you doing this for and I can see it? I don't know, am I? I don't really like I've, I've take a talk with it, where you're around. For the sake of avoiding a, a fight with a P, you know, like a fight between PCs, let's say no. Let's say I'm off meditating. I'll, I'll just talk to the merchant that brought us here. If he, uh, if he'll give me anything for this stuff. Uh, he'll give you um, seventy-five gold. Sure. I don't feel like carrying this crap around, so deal. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. a lot. Um, so I'll just, is I'll there... just pocket that and thank him and go on my way. Just hope he doesn't is, tell anybody where you got it. Is there any glass uh, workers around? Or, um, like, can I see, like, the ruins of a, of a glass shop? Or, or like, a, a vase shop? Um, do you ask if they have one in town? Yes, sir. Yes, they have a glass shop. Um, there was in town. A glass shop. Mm -hmm. We don't know the condition of it. Okay. Um, can I just uh, try to grab like one of the guards or something? I'm pretty sure like they all know me by now, as the guy who went out there and fell and died. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I they're, just they know you as the guy that was drugged back in, bleeding right? To death. Exactly. That guy. <laughs> so yes. save the hostages. Maybe I tell I tell them to just put in word. Um, Obviously, I don't know if it's uh, broken down now, but if they ever get back on the feet, the glass shop, I ask if uh, I can make a special order for uh, just two, maybe uh, five, five centimeter diameter uh, uh, tinted glass things. That's it. <laughs> Shades. <laughs> <laughs> they and, don't exist back then, I swear. And these... Tinted, what does that mean? Uh, dye. You, you know, when a vase is a different color, just have um, oh, you want you want blue item, yes. Okay, we'll make you a blue item. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll give you two stained glass, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Glass they're gonna have little, water. yeah, they're gonna have like little, like the multicolored, like mosaics, and like you're gonna have like glass when stained glass, pretty stained much, glass just like a mosaic glass. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. And, wow. Uh, I, I tell them I don't want like the frame or anything. I just want two orbs like that and uh, I send them on our way. Yeah. That's it. I want to and draw so Ray-Bans were born. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this epic panoramic of our group in like a great <laughs> fantasy setting and he's just wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Oh yeah, wow. it's like the Lord of the Rings in like the first. It's not like they're, they're gonna work. Da, 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 da. So in this bright sun, uh, you're burning to death here. Uh, <coughs> Are we recording? Of course we're recording. Oh, okay, I did, I didn't remember if I heard you start up. Okay. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yep. Oh, what? Uh, is he actually like literally like like a vampire in the sun, like smoking and stuff? No, no, no. Take... He, he doesn't yeah. take damage, but he takes disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, everything that involves direct sunlight. So if I am looking for something, I take disadvantage on perception checks in direct sunlight, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if it's attack rolls. Uh, I, I guess I was kind of wondering if there was like a visible sign. Like, is he like, is his skin like? No, no. He's just very. He's not. He's used to dark places, not light places. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yes, I guess actions. there's no outward sign then. Yeah. It's uh, uh, attack. Yes, attack rolls and perception. Spot it. Yep. I want to buy yourself a nice big, like heavy cloak or something. Oh, hood. But it, it, regardless, I have to look in, like at the like. Yeah. If it's in sunlight, I take disadvantage. If your target is in sunlight, yeah. Exactly. If my target's in sunlight. Oh, okay. Um, and it only affects your attack rolls. It doesn't affect their attack rolls. So they don't have advantage on you. Okay. Right. Oh, you really are Riddick. Pretty yeah, much. he's yeah he's used to being underground. That's where yeah. his race is originated. Anywho, you finally, uh, after messing around for several hours, decide to finally head out of town. And uh, as you start heading out of town uh, to the southwest, I'm sorry, southeast, 
Uh, that's not the map I wanted either. Uh, this one here. So you start heading out of the town to the southeast. Um, you're headed off into the grasslands. Um, occasionally you'll see a small stream, a uh, clump of trees. But you can pretty much see pretty far for a couple miles. Um, you know, pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, at least as you head out of town. And uh, you start traveling along um, through the grasslands. And uh, you see this mass of weeds that has been trampled down. You see some tracks. You see some, every once in a while, you see some blood spots. Obviously, some of these people, invaders, had been injured or, or whatever. Um, you see lots of different tracks uh, as you kind of head out of town. After about two hours, it starts to get a little more hilly as you're traveling around, and um, you're kind of kind of going up the hill and down the hill, up the hill, kind of in a little gully, following a little stream a little bit. Looks like they stopped to camp. You see some uh, some little uh, campsites and such, um, and uh, eventually you get uh, about. Three hours into your adventure. Hopefully, I chose the right one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We got. Uh... And you're uh, kind of just heading through uh, this general area. If I can find your PCs, where are you? That's not where you're at. You are here. There you are. Look at you guys. Where are we? <laughs> oh, I had to copy you from the other map. Oh. Um. Oh, there we are. There you are. There you all are. All right. Um, actually, let me move you guys kind of down over here. It's not going to matter. Yeah, do we need to set like a marching order and stuff? Yeah, if you guys want to move yourselves around into a marching order, that's fine. I just kind of grab and put you yeah. down in a spot. Yeah, I figure so, I'd be somewhere towards the middle. So you know like the back line? I'm behind that. <laughs> Uh, I'm just, Hollis will be out front to track stuff. Oh yeah, Hollis is actually a ranger, right? Yes. Okay, I keep thinking you're a rogue for some reason. I don't know. No. I think it's like the the black pud and stuff. You look roguey. All right. Um. So so far, um, it's been pretty easy to track. Is is. As Hollis keeps informing you that uh, you know they're an army. They're probably going to be going slower than us. Um, they're leaving tracks behind. They're not really trying to conceal where they're headed or where they're going. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been pretty easy going up to this point. But as you start getting up in the hills and you're leaving the grasslands, you don't see as, as well a trail. Um, so Hollis, why don't you give me a uh, survival check there? All right. Can I do this too? Um, I'm from the mountains. Are you so skilled? I'm... Yes. Um, I think 21. Hollis has got it. <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Um, as you're uh, heading up there, um, in the general direction that the, the main group is headed through, you come into this little uh, opening, and uh, Hollis informs you that... Um, this is obviously where they had spent some time. You see a bunch of areas that have been trampled down and stuff. And uh, as you're kind of exploring around this area, if I can find the damn token, I would put it out there. Uh, by the way, do are any of the persons in the opposing party orc or human? Because I have favorite enemy. Uh, they are orc or what? Human. Uh, no, they're not. All right, well then no bonuses. Also, what opposing party? I don't see anybody. As the in army. the people we're tracking. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the trackers? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... He can immediately identify tracks of his favorite enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if, if any of them are orc or human. Yes, yeah. yes. You see uh, you see many humanoid tracks, or human tracks. Uh, you know that there was many humans. You saw, like I mentioned, uh, mostly humans, but there was a few dwarves, a few elves. Um... Obviously, a bunch of kobolds. You saw the uh, 
you saw the um, what you call it? Um, dragon, half dragon thing. Yes, the half dragons and the. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Takes all kinds, I guess. It does. They're all doing dishes, which makes it really easy to track them. Try to memorize the footprints while you can. Uh, let me just uh, re confirm the bonuses that I get. Okay, did you reconfirm the bonuses? Uh, I don't know, did he? I don't know. Uh, he said he was going to reconfirm. I was waiting for him to reconfirm. Maybe he... I didn't know what you Maybe he just... Okay. Can you hear me? Now can we can, drop? yeah. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, yeah, my, my mic uh, muted itself. Anyway, uh, there is no bonus. Um, you get advantage for tracking them. Okay. Makes sense. And, uh, and automatically know if, if what I'm tracking is one of those orcs or humans. Okay. You don't recognize any orc tracks, but you obviously see plenty of human tracks. Uh, and you can even tell uh, some kobold tracks. And matching up basically the tracks from the creatures you've already seen this evening. Mm -hmm. um, so as you're uh, kind of going through this uh, little... Glade area here on the side of a hill. Uh, you notice that there's a bunch of tracks. Obviously, they had like a <clears throat> rested here. You can see lots of uh, matted down grass and stuff where they were sitting down and resting or whatever. Um, and then over in the corner, out of the corner of your eye, you see um, what looks like a uh, looks like a uh, half elf kind of peeks his head up over a log there and uh, you can see he's got a bow out but he kind of quickly puts it away and kind of waves at you guys I wave back very ecstatically I wave back as well oh there I glare and I say do we know you just shout it out just shouting across all that lane if you can hear me he says no you don't know me but I am Nissim. Nissim is my name. I'm a friend of yours. Trust me. I don't mean you any harm. And he kind of puts his hands up, showing that he's got nothing in his hands. And then he kind of uh, slowly but surely makes his way and he lifts his leg up over the, you know, the, the log there. And he grabs his other leg with his arms and kind of reaches up with it, pulls it across. You see it's been all bandaged. He's got... Blood wounds all over his body. He's dirty. Oh. Um, what happened to you? <sighs> the attack. The attack last night. I tried tracking these guys and following them and ran into some enemies. Oh, I'm so hurt. Oh. Don't suppose it was a bunch of kobolds and dragon monsters. Yes, of course. Um, of course it was. I was trying to track down... Trying to track down my master. He, he's, I think he infiltrated the enemy group last night and follow. He's following them. I assume Hollis is trying to figure out if he's telling the truth, but you should probably yes. say that before you make the roll. I didn't want to interrupt him. Yeah, no. me too. <laughs> um, you feel he might be telling the truth. He might not be telling the truth. Um, you just can't really gauge anything right this minute. Hmm. I, I asked him where he came from. <clears throat> I was outside the village when it was attacked last night. I was coming back from... 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 Can't remember the name of it. Hang on. Oh, he doesn't know where he's from. He's a spy. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, that's what he is. Green nest? No, Green no. Nest. He was coming back from Burgados. Shoot him. To meet up with my master. My master's been studying and analyzing these raiders that have attacked the village. Uh, I Your knew he would... First, come over here. You're obviously wounded. Oh, yes. You guys can't see his bar, can you? I 
We can't see his name either. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Look at, what kind of job am I doing here? Name. There we go. Now you can see it, right? I no. Oh, I gotta hit the save change button. There we there go. You can see his health. Yeah. Okay. Yes, his health. Oh, oh, his name didn't copy. Ah, huh, that's crazy. All right, let me put that in there real quick. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Come on, roll twenty. Get with the program. Jeez, it's been acting really weird tonight. I don't know yeah, why. First, that Tell thing you with the, the truth. Now this. Roll twenty is a program, though. Inception. <laughs> Get with itself. <laughs> Well, well the other thing was I tried to uh, play music earlier and it wouldn't um, it wouldn't play the music. You know, I noticed something uh, weird. Sometimes when you play music in Roll Twenty, but you got Skype on, the music doesn't show up. But really? anyway, that's strange. So uh, he's kind of sitting on the log right now. He says his his leg sticking out there, all bandaged up. He's like, seriously, you want me to walk over there? You couldn't come I, over uh, here. All right, I guess I didn't see the leg. I. <laughs> All right, I just kind of like gesture to Barlin. I hope he will like walk over to me as I go over to him. And I'm just going to go up to him and I just say, just hold still for a second. And I put a hand on his leg and I cast Cure Wounds. As he does that, I just look at him and I'm like, I'm also looking for my master. And I kind of just have like a tear in my eye as we... I have flashbacks. Yes, I remember how Cure Wounds works. What are you making this guy out? 230. So you said this place obviously had like a bunch of humans in it, right? And dwarves and elves and a bunch of other stuff. Yes. Um. So I asked this guy, I'm like, so you said you came here alone? Did you see anyone else besides the, uh, I don't know, enemies, the the, the raiders? Humans. No. I, no. I'm kind just, of looking. just the raiders. Okay, here we go. I'm tracking them down. I have a feeling my master. Oh. My leg, it's, I casting. think it's broken. Yep. I think it's broken. Not for long. Roll D8 plus. Spellcasting mod is three. He regains five hit points. As I, like, put a hand on his leg, and I murmur something in Druidic, and there's, like, this flurry of, like, let's say greenish light around the leg. All right. You notice his leg is pretty messed up. You're, you've stopped the bleeding, and you've you've healed some of the wound, but it's... It's definitely um, swollen. It's got some, um, just a big lump where his bone is sticking, you know, kind of out of place on his, in his knee. Um, hmm. But you definitely made it better, but he's definitely, I've... he's still in, uh, you know, he's, he's no, he's feeling better, obviously. He's, oh, thank you. You didn't have to do that, uh, but I appreciate hmm. it. Thank you so much. What was your name, milady? Oh. Oh, I'm Naya. Naya. Nice, oh, nice so to nice, meet you. nice to meet you too. <sighs> I was I'm hoping to, whether or not to use another I was, cool wounds on him. I was hoping. Um, give me a medicine check. Let's see, medicine check. I should actually have that. Tra I don't have that trained. Why am I doing this instead of the cleric? Well, whatever. If you oh well. Twenty-one. Good job. Yeah, you can tell. Uh, you could heal it and make him mend the wound, but he's. Still gonna have issues for uh, till actually mending his is his leg completely. Yeah, he's basically got to get back and get some bed rest at this point, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's the blood stopped. He's, he's yeah. You know, you've healed most of the wound, but he's just in really bad, bad shape. Yeah, I, he's so like I, I was kind of like trying to track down my master. Yes, well, I'm afraid I, you're done He's been studying these so creatures well. all around the south end of the north coast. And, and, I ask him, where was he attacked? Just flat out cut him out. Cut him off. Just like, where was he attacked and like, where are they heading? And I was just attacked this people. morning, a couple hours ago, just to the, just to the uh, northwest of here. A band of five kobolds. If you want, I could take you and show you the bodies I killed. If you don't trust me. Uh, I don't care about the bodies you killed. I'm more so worried about where that group is heading, if you have any inkling. I think they're headed southwest. I've been trying to track them down, looking to see. And he holds up this, uh, he holds up this bandana. It's white. It's got a, uh, it's got a little symbol on it. He says, see, this is, this is my master symbol. He left it here knowing I'd track him down. I know he's I know he's with the group. 
see. So I was tracking him, trying to find him. And what was his okay. name? His name, of course, is... <laughs> wait, wait, which group is this guy a part of? The master? Which group are we talking about? Some other group of, uh, I think the raiders that he's fallen. So his master's with the raiders. It's the fallen. Yeah, his, master, them, yeah. his master's been like studying the dragon monsters and stuff. With the raiders. Yes. Not with them. He's no. Tracked. He's been captured. Uh, All right. Well, that's I thought he infiltrated him. No, he's following. Either he's either he either he's he's following him and got captured. Leosin is his name. Sorry. His, could... Sorry. Leosin. Leosin. Okay. And I guess I just ask him to describe uh, Leosin. And he's been investigating these raiders for months. He sent me up to Burgaros and the southern sure. coast of the Sword Coast and tried to get some more information. Right. And I was just I... coming back to town to report to him when the attack I... happened. For uh, any so defining so features that he has, like maybe a scar or different hair color, he tells you he is a uh, he's a half elf like he is, uh, okay. kind of a wiry, kind of thin dude. Wouldn't be wearing any armor or weapons at all. Um, mm -hmm. Black hair, kind of parted on the side, kind of long. Uh, green eyes. Um, and um, kind of was west. He saw he was wearing a something so cool. He was wearing um, like a white tunic with a leather belt and uh, blue socks. If that helps you. <laughs> all right. Sweet. All right. Um, well, once he's explained all this. Um, I guess I say to him, well, I like look down at the leg, I frown, and then I like look back up at Nessim, Nessim and I say, well, I'm sorry, friend, but I'm afraid you're done tracking anything for a while. You need to get off this. <sighs> no, but, say it isn't true. I have to help him. <sighs> if you just, like, I, okay, did he already tell us approximately which direction they think he, he thinks they took his master? Well, if he infiltrated, they he went wherever they went, and I I, they are heading down to the southwest. Right. I don't. Well, or I'm sorry, southeast. I don't know if that's where they're headed. I don't know of any village or town or encampments down in that area. My master might know, but I don't. Well, I we just came from Greenest to find out what we can about these bastards. The city. So. The city. Did it? Did it make it? Is it? Is it okay? It. As far as I can tell, most of the people survived. They were able to it's, get to the key. It seemed better days, but they'll be fine. Seems like most of the kobolds were just there to loot and leave. Uh, I heard an explosion as well last night, and I feared for the worst as they were probably trying to take over the keep, but I saw the keep standing in the morning, so I assumed good news. Oh, yeah. That was us. <laughs> that was I you? Do... In the uh, keep? As I'm still grumbling something about that stupid dwarf not telling us about the bomb. But anyway, I just shake my head and yeah, we were able to prevent them from sneaking into the keep through this hidden tunnel by the river. Had to blow up the end of it, but... Ah. But yes, we are now on a mission from Greenest. We're trying to find these these kobolds and their dragon monsters or whatever. You're... So, you're, you're following them we are we'll bring my master back please we will i uh i i if you saw the role in what i was typing um i, I tried drawing the master as he was <laughs> describing him and i got an 11. i hold up a piece of paper to dust him and i'm just like so he looks like this right <sighs> uh th thinner uh not as much hair uh, two eyes, not three. Uh, <laughs> it's, oh, classic mistake. It's, it's small, smaller lips, but yeah, I, I, you've I got the like, rough. I kind of like step in between as they're having this exchange, and I'm like, I, I think we'll recognize them when we see him. Do you mind I, if I keep this as I pull up like the bandana with a symbol on it? Absolutely, keep it. Keep it. Uh, yeah. Show you him that. Need it to find him. Tell him that I, I found it and gave it to you. Uh, in fact, he says... Uh, You've you've got a pen. Let me uh, 
Let me put my initials on it so he knows that I had given it to you. All right. So uh, he puts N.W. on it, uh, hands it back to you. Uh, he says, yes, if you find him, show him this, and he will know that uh, I had given it to you. All right. Well, Let's we're going to get right keep after it safe. these people. Keep it safe. Don't let the raiders see it. They might know that uh, you are with, not with them. Right. I immediately tuck it into my, my belt pouch or whatever I keep my stuff in. Oh, great. Uh, I guess I'm going to head back to Greenish. I will be of no use. Be of no use. Uh, yeah. But I do appreciate the the healing you had put on me. Thank you so much. Here, just a second, and I'm going to... I don't think I'd actually... Sit well... You know what? It's a, it's an RP thing. It's not like anything that affects like stats or anything, so I'm just going to be a little, little creative here with like the druidcraft thing. This log I'm he's sitting on, I basically like stand over it and cast like my... I'm going to say it's my druidcraft cantrip. This is just an RP thing. As like... I start to draw off some of the wood, and it kind of starts to mold itself into like a crutch, and I give that to him. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, he hands you his staff and says, I give you this instead. Oh. You got a staff? Okay. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Come on, Naya. No need to be overbearing. He he'll be fine. All right, well... Thank you very much, and we'll have your It's a very nice-looking staff, by the way. It's... Hmm? It's a very nice-looking staff. Which? Whose? His or mine? Uh, not I'm yours. <laughs> mine's, mine's cool. Why are you just saying out of the fucking... Yours is a peak as a bark. All right. Anyway. Bark. The point is, I give him a crutch and send him on his way. All right. So he thanks you all, uh... And starts heading down to the south, back towards the village of Greenish, way off in the distance now. Uh, you can't even see it; it's so far off. I suspect maybe we should have brought a mule. We could have put him on it. Hmm, that is a nice looking stuff. <laughs> so um, you continue your journey, and um, it's getting uh, it's getting early afternoonish. Um, the sun's starting to you know, start heading its way down through the sky. But um, you're kind of going through these rocky, rock, rocky, rocky. <laughs> you're going through the rockiness. No, you're going through the rocky um, hillsides here. And uh, about an hour later, you come across a, a kind of a, kind of come around a corner of one of the outcrops. And about four or 500 yards up, down in a little gully, um, you see some smoke coming up rising up uh, you can't quite see uh, what's going on there because like I said it's down in a gully but you got some little stream that heads up there and then uh, past the stream you see like an outcrop of trees so if everybody would like to give me a stealth check oh dear. assuming you're gonna use some kind of Ooh. stealth you do have advantage um, because of the uh, terrain yeah, just so, like, uh, like, how far off is this fire? It's about uh, four or 500 feet. Oh, well, mm -hmm. so even if we... So we'd have to basically roll, like, a zero to be seen. That is an impressive and, stealth check for how fucking bulky I am. Yeah. I did worse. So did I. <laughs> well, we, he said we had advantage, so you I... You have advantage, so right now you got a 16 cool. and 12, a 14 and a 19 and a 13. So, and yeah, you're guys... Um, with a bunch of rocks between us. You guys kind one. of... You guys kind of mosey down the uh, the pathway there of the uh, the river, just a little creek, using the creek as kind of a uh, uh, to help keep your noise to a minimum here. And you make it up to, into the little outcropping of some trees, and uh, you're about uh, oh about eighty and hundred feet away and you hear some voices now and and uh, through the through the trees in front of you you see that there is indeed some humans a dwarf and some kobolds and you can hear the humans kind of and the dwarf kind of yelling at the kobolds you know get away get away and you you smell the smoke now is there close enough um uh to uh 
the actual place here. And hang on just a second here. I mean, if they're getting attacked by kobolds, I'm within range to start fighting. So I don't think they're getting attacked by kobolds. But... I think they're just pestering them, but if they are attacking them, I'm with you. I mean, I, I, I don't think any of us should have a good an opinion of kobolds right now. Or dragon-like people, except me. Well, I mean, they might be together. Like, I mean, they might yeah. be the, the bandits. Right. He didn't say that we're fighting, so... Right. It depends on how many of them we see. I, uh, whis I whispered to Hollis, do you have a net? Uh, there's a lot. Yeah. All right, so you're kind of uh, you're kind of broke up into different groups here. Uh, Jacob, Hollis, and Gavin are kind of over here to the east, and uh, Marlin and Naya. Just just the way you made your way through the trees. Um, you can see that basically they got a little campfire going up here. The uh, the humans are kind of over here on the the left hand side, and they're just kind of sitting down on the ground. Their weapons are just laying on the ground. Uh, and they came to seem to be ordering the kobolds around, and you see they're cooking some meat over the fire. They several of them look like they got battle wounds. You see, you know, uh, every once in a while you see one limp, or one of them's got a big scar, or blood stains on their clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to be, you know, every once in a while a kobold comes over the fire, and one of these guys stands up and says, "Get away from that! It's not yours!" And he kind of scurries back, and they're kind of huddled over for a little bit, and they're kind of talking in little whispers as kobolds. And, um, oh my gosh, look at all these fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Fireworks going on everywhere. Um, <laughs> Alright, do we see anyone that looks like uh, Leosin? Uh, you do not see anyone other than the people that you see here on the mini-map. Uh, this cult is here kind of the north one is uh actually dwarf the other three are humans um and like i said they kind of it comes back over they seem to be you know not really concentrating and looking and searching at uh, what's going on and who's doing what they're kind of just arguing and fighting and they're kind of resting and yeah. you guys spend about five or ten minutes watching them and looking and seeing what they're doing and listening to them argue back and forth and stuff and all right Next episode, we're going to find out what you do about this. Oh, as well. all right. Unfortunately, we're going to have to bring this episode to a close tonight, folks. So next Thursday, we're going to pick this right back up and find out exactly what's going on. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts, comments, suggestions below. Mm -hmm. Let our PCs know how they're doing. And um, let us know how what you feel about their awesome adventure that they've been playing through so far. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.